Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm just finishing up a controller build. So I have a uh, Falcon F16 V4 controller board, plus an expansion board, plus a second expansion board for a controller with a total of 48 ports. And I have it in the, the Big Bud box. And first floor, which you can't see, is the power and I do power injection uh, everywhere so I have just enough power and then some to power the box every once in a while I might power something off of a couple of the ports but for the most part I do power injection um, also you know this thing starts getting real heavy if I try to jam in six power supplies so anyway on the first floor is a 350 watt uh, mean well power supply Plus, I have um, two Ethernet surge protectors because I actually had that problem. And then I got a really nifty uh, um, fuse box, a marine fuse box that it had exactly six outputs, which is exactly what I needed. Um, and I got the, the Ethernet gland. So on the outside, I got uh, the big uh, bud vent. And then I have a fan right there. And then on the sides, on the top, on the both sides, I got these vents. And this is planned to be sitting like this uh, on my porch. So this is how I'd orient it. If I was having it straight up and down, I would, I can turn these to the to the side. <clears throat> so the uh, the inner assembly with the uh, with the levels and the hardware, I got that from Jadiation. Um, real happy with that. And then I got, uh, I think the hardest part was just dealing with all the pigtails. So there's 48 ports, 48 pigtails. I know a lot of people will drill individual holes. Uh, I'm really not that concerned about being watertight. I'm not planning on taking this to sea and using it as a boat. Um, you know, I want to keep bugs out and stuff, but I think this uh, this does that. So what I do is I have these, uh, these bigger glands that I use. Uh, trying to look for the name of the for the size of the gland but anyway um, they easily hold eight cables and more so since they hold more I have a couple of these extra I put in some wire did a little bit of liquid tape on the ends and shoved them in there for shims and so I got you know six of those things coming out eight each and then underneath I got glands for the Ethernet and I actually use one for Ethernet and I use the other one for um, DMX. But anyway, I run those through surge protectors, which uh, go to a common ground as well as the power supply off of that bus bar back there. And uh, of course, I got the Ethernet cables for the right handed sides. And let's see if there's anything else to, to talk about it. I did order some shorter you know um ribbon cables for the port but they were the wrong width so that's not a big deal but yeah it uh it turned out really nice and uh given the controllers were in short supply i decided to go higher density so you know instead of you know this does the work of what three controllers would do and f48 you can take each port to the max but uh you know my max is uh 600 i only do 600 pixels per port so anyway that is my my build i think it turned out really nice